All right, so what we're gonna do today is a Chomsky normal form example. And just as a reminder to everyone, uh, context-free grammar is in Chomsky normal form if it has the form of A points to B, C, or A points to lowercase a, where B and C are our variables, and A is a terminal. All right, let's get started. So the equation we're going to use is what's presented below. And this is our grammar. These are our rules. The, new, the first step is to create a new start variable. To do so, all you have to do is add an s not points to s. Simple, right? So step one is done. So this is what our new equation looks like. Step two is we have to remove our epsilons. To do so, we have to first look at b points to epsilon. So as you can see up here, here is our epsilon. We're going to cross it off, and then we're going to find each instance of b and replace it as if it were epsilon. So since a points to b, and b could be lowercase b or epsilon, we have to add an epsilon in here to take care of that. And then we have the b here, and if that were epsilon, then we just have the lowercase a terminal by itself. So our new equation will look like so. We have our s not points to s still, our s points to asa or ab or terminal a, we have our a points to b, s, or epsilon, and we have b pointing to terminal b by itself. Next step is to remove a points to epsilon. So as you can see here, we cross off the epsilon again, and then we find each instance of A where we need to pretend it's an epsilon. So as you can see, we first have to take account if this A is an epsilon. So that would give us an S A. Then we can take into account if this A were an epsilon, which would give us an A S. And then we have to take into account if both are epsilon, which would just give us S. So our new grammar looks like so. We still have our first initial state, and now we have removed all of our epsilons. The second rule, or the second step to do now, is to remove all of our unit rules. So first we're going to remove s points to s, which is the simplest. Since s refers to itself, we can just cross s off. And our new equation looks like so. Our next rule is to remove s not points to s, which is just as simple. Since s not points to s, and we know what s is, we just replace everything in s not with s. So we would cross off s and put in asa, or ab, or a, or sa, or as. That would then make our new equation look like so. Now we need to remove a points to b. So we look at b here and we see that b is only lowercase b. So we can just cross off our big b and replace it with a b. And now that's finished. So our new equation is like so. Now a is only pointing to lowercase b and uppercase s. Next step is to remove a points to s. And again, just like when we knew what s not pointing to s meant, all we have to do is cross off the s here and replace it with what's in s. So we split asa or ab or a or sa or s or excuse me, as. So that is our new equation, which is now simplified down here. Now as a reminder, to be Chomsky normal form, we need to have this grammar in the form of A points to B, C, or A points to A, where B and C are our variables and A is our terminal. And there are just a few places where it does not hold. So if you look here, 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 and here, that's supposed to be an uppercase B, 
These are areas where Chomsky normal form does not hold. So in order to make this Chomsky normal form, we have to create new variables to then replace the terminals or the variables. So for example, what we're going to do is we're going to add a u points to a. So we have a new variable u that's going to point to our terminal a. And we create a new variable a1 that's going to point to our variables as. And what you do is you take these new variables and you replace them in our equation. So our new equation in the end is going to be s naught points to a1 a or u b or a or s a or a s and then s points to a1 a or u b or a or s a or a s a points to lowercase b terminal or u b or a or a s a or a s and b points to b and then we add in our new variables that we added u points to a and a1 points to a s so now this is our final answer and now the context-free grammar is Chomsky normal form